they hadn't even thought about Earthrise or taking a photograph of it. They were focused on the mission. The first three orbits of the moon, they hadn't seen Earthrise. Frank Borman turned the spacecraft actually to point the windows towards the moon to take some other photographs. And, and Bill Anders uh, spotted Earthrise out of the window. And reading the transcripts, but also listening to the tapes at this moment, like all this text, as I say, is in the book. But to listen to them, his excitement at spotting this, saying, oh, we, get me a, a roll of colour film quick. Um, he had his camera ready, but he only had a black and white magazine. And, but he did take a photograph. So the first photograph actually of Earth from the moon by one of us was actually a black and white shot. It's also in the book. It also happens to be absolutely stunning. But he wanted a colour photograph. It was Jim Lovell that finally found the magazine. So Frank Borman turned the spacecraft. Bill Anders spotted it and had the camera. Uh, Jim Lovell found the magazine. So it was a real crew effort to get this, which is you know, one of the most iconic photographs ever taken. Oh, my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? Hey, don't take that. It's not scheduled. <laughs> you got a color film, Jim? Hand me a roll of color quick, Oh, man, that's great. Where is it? Quick. Bill, I got a phrase that's very clear right here. You got it? Yep. Take several of them. Take several of them. Here, give it to me. Wait a minute. Let me just get the right setting here. Now. Just calm, calm down, Bubba. Well, I got a ray. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. 